Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to print tiles using rubber blocks. What I'm using is the SD Master Cut, which is made from non toxic eraser like material. Just a backstory I wanted to create a tile print, but I didn't know that the shape needs to be square and that the design needs to be measured. So you can see that I drew my design again and used the back of the Master Cut to carve everything again. So anyway, I measured a square and used a compass to draw the lines. I'm using a copy paper to draw my designs. I outline my drawings so it's easier to transfer the graphite onto the block. I put the graphite down of the drawing on the master cut and use my knuckles and nails to burnish the paper. I'm using the SD carving tools, particularly the small V and U gouge. I like to use the V gouge for different lines and sharp corners, while the U gouge is used for carving curves, soft edges, and spaces. The rule in carving is that anything you carve away will remain white, which means there will be no color, while the parts that will remain will be printed in color. I put my nun carving hand behind so that I don't accidentally carve myself. I also carve in an outward direction to protect myself from any injury. The SD Master Cut is easy to carve, but carving small areas can be tiring on my hands, back, and neck. I wanted the background to have color, so I'm only carving the outline of my drawing. If I only want the elements to have colors, then I need to carve all the negative spaces. I create some texture on the flower by carving small bits and pieces away. One way to know how the print will look before actually printing is to put a piece of paper on top of the block and use a pencil to do a rubbing. This helped me see the areas that I need to carve in more details. I use the SD block printing ink and squeeze it on a plastic tray. I use the brayer to roll it top down, left to right. Then I ink the block in the same manner. I made a test print and I was satisfied with the result, so I'm ready to create my tile prints. I used the 160 GSM cartridge paper to print. I 
I drew an up arrow to guide me, just in case I get confused on which direction I should put my block. quite nervous when I place the next block because I want to make sure that everything is aligned. To print a tile, I rotate my block in a clockwise manner. Sometimes the paint gets inside the narrow spaces of my design, so I use a pencil to remove some of the paint. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the imperfect tiles print. I used the leftover ink to paint some of the white areas using a dabbing motion. Printing tiles was a huge learning curve for me, but it was so satisfying. I enjoyed the whole process from drawing, carving, to printing. There's still so much to learn, and I look forward to carving more designs in the future. If you have any big erasers lying around at home and some carving tools, you can try creating a relief print. I hope you will give this a try. Thank you for watching.